Hey everyone, so welcome back to Monday's Word Work. Um, we have spent the last nine weeks working on Iubuses to write complex sentences, and you've done an amazing job with it. I think we've spent a lot of time with it, and I'm starting to see it in your work. So I think the next thing we could do is go back to writing compound sentences, where you take two sentences and join them into one. And remember, that was the fanboys. So the fanboys are for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. It spells fanboys. And if you remember, we wrote a bunch of these. And we're just going to go back to them, review them, and make sure you start getting these in your writing. And this is a very common reason you use commas. So it's another way to practice your comma usage. Okay? So the... Fanboy we are going to focus on this week is so and so is the problem solver He connects a problem with the result so So we are going to use the s in fanboys and we will look at so now a Fanboy connects two sentences and makes them into one All right, that's the key here Let's look Sorry, one second. Okay, sorry about that little delay. Here's our first example. My response didn't have enough evidence. I went back and reread my article. You see, those are two um, separate sentences, they're both correct sentences. And there's a problem and a solution. My response didn't have enough evidence. Solution, I went back and reread my article. Now look at this. I can turn that into a smoother, larger sentence. My response didn't have enough evidence. So I went back and reread my article. Do you see how it takes two simple sentences and turns it into one compound, like combo sentence? That's what we're doing. There's a problem. My response didn't have enough evidence. And there's a solution. So I went back and reread my article. All right, let's look at another one. I'm going to skip this, come back to it. My brother was being noisy when I was working. That's one sentence, and that's a problem. I put my headphones on. That's a solution. And that sentence works too. Now let's combine them into a combo sentence using so. My brother was being noisy when I was working. So I put my headphones on. Do you see how that works? It takes two sentences and puts them into one. It makes your writing smoother and the sentences are meatier. And all you do is you add so and a comma to join them. And it's a problem. My brother is being noisy and a solution. So I put my headphones on. Okay. Let's look at one more. The two fractions had different denominators. Problem. I multiplied both fractions to make the denominators the same. Solution. So let's put that together into one sentence. The two fractions had different denominators comma, so I multiplied both fractions to make the denominators equal. All right, solution. So that's what you're going to do today. I want you to write two imitations where first, I want it done this way. First, you're going to write your two sentences separately. Then you're going to combine them. Um, I want you to do this to get your brain used to making two complete sentences that are combined into one. So this is what I want your imitation to look like. A problem sentence, a solution sentence, and then your combo sentence. So I'll even write it like this. Do you want me to go, do you want Sorry guys, one second. 
So you can write it like um, problem sentence, solution sentence, combo sentence. This is what I would do. So I would write like, um, I couldn't focus when working. There's my problem. I did 10 push-ups to get my energy up. Okay, there's my solution sentence. Combo sentence, I couldn't focus when working, so I did 10 push-ups to get my energy up. Does that make sense? And you do two of those. So you're going to write a problem sentence, a solution sentence, and then combine them with a comma and so, and then you do that again. All right, I can't wait to read these. Um, you have done this, so it should be like pretty familiar. All right, can't wait to see what you do.